Hi, I'm Michelle Forsythe. I am from stepsteppick.com. And I'm here to tell you the five things that I wish I had known before I started leading my organization. The number one is know your why. Everybody talks about that. It's a big thing now. And there's a reason because it makes a massive difference. Before I connected with my why, I was unfocused. I wasn't moving forward in my business. I was going nowhere very quickly. But as soon as I connected with my why and started really living that, it transformed my business. Clients started coming projects started appearing, everything came into place. And when you know your why, then even on the tough days, and you will have tough days, no matter what level your business is, whether you're starting out or multiple six figures, whatever the case may be, you will have tough days. But when you know your why, it doesn't matter because you know why you're doing it and you can move forward and you can get through it. The second thing that I wish I had known was to listen. And that is listening to other people who have valuable advice, insights, lessons, but also listen to yourself and to your heart. If I had started listening to my heart years ago, it, I would have already probably sold my business. Who knows what would have happened? But I didn't listen to my heart until I was 47 years old. And it, it, again, transforms your business because when you are following your passion, you also really love what you're doing and it shows and your customers know it, your clients know it, everyone knows it and, it, and you do what you love, love your work. It's amazing. The third thing is showing up. Now, this may sound simple. You turn on your computer, you go to your work, whatever the case may be. But a lot of times we can just put in the time or not really putting our whole selves into it. But when you show up every day, your clients will feel it, your family will feel it because you're showing up for them as well. And you will make a difference and it makes a huge impact on your business when you show up every day. Number four, our thoughts are real. This is absolutely true, and I've lived it. When I was in my late teens, early 20s, I got this idea in my head that I couldn't really be a writer until I was in my 40s, because then I would be experienced enough. And that is exactly what happened. I did not pursue my writing until I was in my 40s. And now I am publishing my second book at 47. But it took 20 years for me to figure that out. So whatever we think about, whether it's negative or positive, that is true. So if you have negative thoughts, those are going to overpower those positive ones. So you really have to work on keeping really positive thinking in your head and keep manifesting and practicing those positive thoughts. Number five, be yourself. Sounds, again, these are all simple truths, but they make such a huge difference. And here's the thing, when you're yourself, it's actually way easier and you can be a little bit lazy because you don't have to think about it, what you're going to say. You don't have to, you're not pretending, you're not fake. You are just being your authentic self. And it comes through with everything you do with your family, with your friends, with your business, your staff. It really comes through and it resonates with people. So when you are yourself, you will succeed. Thank you for watching. These five things have truly had an impact on my life and on my business. I hope you have an amazing day. 